So what are your thoughts today at this demonstration? Why did you come down? Well, initially, uh, we came here to condemn the presence of Iranian representative here in the United States and in the UN General Assembly and um, indicate that he's not really a true representative of Iranian people after the direct election in 2009 in Iran and he was chosen by the supreme power as a president and he has chosen every international um, opportunity to come to United States and so-called representing Iran but he's not the true voice of Iranian people so pretty much we are here to oppose this government the suppression of the government against the uh, the freedom, freedom and democracy fighters in Iran who are in jail after the special 2009 election in Iran and defending the right for democracy for all the Iranian people. Oh, well, <laughs> I'm against of any uh, regime that is against the human rights uh, of the human rights of the people and in, in this case the Iranian government, so that's what I'm here today. Now, we did see an election in 2009. You say that the uh, Ahmadinejad was chosen by the clerics, but we saw an election, there were different candidates. You don't think it was a fair election? Well, um, it was a, a fair election. It would have been a fair election if they would have allowed the actual results to come about. What happened was after the um, starting the election, the whole um, uh, the train of the election was escaped from the hand of the people who were going to control the election because in Iran through within the last 34 years they always used the election as a form as the only form of the so-called demo, de, de, democracy but actually uh, even the candidates are not uh, the true candidate of the people but they are pre-elected by the by the and, and supreme which is uh, by the council which is under the supreme power so they pretty much have to be uh, filtered uh, two three times before they become uh, actual candidates even with this, within that system Musavi and Kahrubi were elected as a candidate but among all the other candidates they were the most favorable candidate from the uh, people's point of view and they supported him when they saw that they have uh, such a huge support from the majority of the people and not the uh, so-called the supreme powers and the up, up hand powers in Iran so they tried to divert the, the result of the election and we saw what we saw which was uh, as a result of the opposition to the um, uh, supreme leader who influenced the election results people came to the street and with a peaceful manner opposed what, what happened and and the answer of the regime was with the you know severe punishment and suppression which to this point still continues pretty much today iran is under stage of siege unofficially and uh, ruled by the military and the, and which is under control of the supreme power thank you very much you're very welcome we carry scars on our bodies and souls we are from the we carry we carry, we carry scars, scars on our bodies and souls be it from the shah we are from the Shah, the horrific suppression following the 1979 revolution, the horrific suppression following the 1979 revolution, the eight years of Iran-Iraq war, the eight years of Iran-Iraq war, or the aftermath of 2009 presidential elections.